Hi, I'm Joe Beretta, and you're watching Bonus Feature Spotlight. It's hard to imagine a world where the name Vin Diesel doesn't immediately conjure up visions of a dozen or so successful action films. But back in 2000, that was the case. He managed to land his first lead role in the strikingly original sci-fi thriller, Pitch Black. The film was an unlikely hit that amassed a cult following, and Diesel's performance as the character Riddick secured his tenure as an action star. What followed were 2004's The Chronicles of Riddick, and nearly a decade later, 2013's conveniently titled Riddick. In an effort to help bridge the events that took place between the sequels, Riddick begins with a prologue delivered by Vin Diesel in his signature baritone drawl. And since science fiction mythology is notoriously dense and because the frequency of Vin Diesel's voice is wonderfully meditative, an extended prologue was actually recorded but never made it into the film. It only exists in its entirety in the form of an animated short, and since this here is bonus feature spotlight, I'm gonna show you that little animated film right now. I'm Riddick. It's always the punch you don't see coming that puts you down. But why didn't I see it? Of course they were gonna try to kill me. Death is what they do for a living. So the question ain't what happened. The question is, what happened to me? Necromongers. Someone to put a crown on my head. Someone to put a noose around my neck. Okay, more nooses than crowns. Every Lord Marshal was supposed to take some big oath. One that I never really got around to. Could say it created a little friction. I needed a way out. Some new place. Or maybe just an old one. Sometimes I think you never sleep, Lord Marshal. They won't lay you stand at the threshold of Underverse without embracing the faith. That's why they come after you. They think of you as something wrong, cursed, illegitimate. What are you gonna do when you're born that way? Do you think the guards are still there? way to a man's heart. Between the fourth and fifth rib. So where I usually go. But put a twist at the end if you want to make sure. Like that? 
They said between the fourth and the fifth. That's the fifth and sixth. Body cavity. More like that. But who put her up to it? Which commander? It could be any. I don't doubt it for a second. Commander Rocco. Lord Marshal, I'm making more friends, I see. So what do you want? The crown. Transcendence. Transcendence. I guess I was necro speak for get the fuck off this ship and make it forever. Somewhere along the way I lost a step, got sloppy, dulled my own edge. Maybe I went and did the worst crime of all. I got civilized. So now, we zero the clock. You gotta find that animal side again. If I know Vin Diesel, and I think I do, I wouldn't count out the possibility of him returning to this character somewhere down the line. Rumors of a fourth installment in the franchise have swirled in recent years, and no one looks better in an action sequence than my guy Vin. Me and Vin Diesel are best friends. That's a lie. I'd really like to meet him, though. Seems like a swell guy. Feel like I could learn a couple things. You know what? You would need three of me to adequately fill out this tank top. For bonus feature spotlight, I'm Joe Beretta. Thank you for watching Universal Pictures All Access. Get the most out of your movies. All right, you guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and if you want to see more, click on one of these other videos. And also, uh, the, the little subscribe button that's floating somewhere around here. I, you find it. You're an adult. <laughs>